Hello my convicts and convicts. yes it is I, the Capricorn Convict, bringing you guys and gals another video. So this is pre-recorded, but I did record this just now, but I'm recording my voice over it, so I can talk a little bit while I'm actually doing it. So first of all, as you can see I'm wingsuiting in quite fast, I want to try and get down as quickly as possible. Try and drop as quickly as you can, because it gives you the momentum to thrust you forward, so when you do level out, you will have a fast time of hitting that ground. And I normally sometimes come to these little areas just to loot up to begin with and grab a couple of guns here. Now, there's a couple of things I want them to change in this game while we're actually watching this gameplay. And first is the nine bang. The nine bang are so ridiculously strong in this game. They are insane. If you find any nine bangs, definitely pick them up because you can literally just spam the enemy with them and there's nothing they can do. Once they're blind, it's a free kill. It literally is a free kill. So they need to sort of either reduce the effect or change the way that it works in Battle Royale on here because it's just, it just doesn't make sense. It's just too hard to beat. And it, it, I, I've struggled so many times with it. People have spammed me with nine bangs and there's absolutely nothing you can do against it. Potential collapse detected. So as you can see, I've got my sniper rifle here, and I'm also taking the Vepa, which I haven't got at the moment. I've got the shotgun, the SG-12. The SG-12 is a pretty decent shotgun. I added a scope to my sniper rifle. I was going to try and do some sniping and see what we can do. So just trying to loot up and get as much loot as I possibly can. There we go, just get in here, pick up the shotgun shells, everything we need, the usual, you know. Now at the moment I'm currently using sensitivity XY of 5 over 5. I thought I'd try this out because I want to try and be more accurate. 4 over 4 is pretty accurate but it's, it's a bit too slow I think to be honest. Now, as you can see, I've got the Vepa. The Vepa, a lot of people have been saying, even the pros have been saying that the Vepa is a really great weapon. So I thought, once I got this weapon, I'm going to keep it. To be honest, if I could choose some guns in this, I would probably say my favourites are the Vepa, uh, the ICR, and the Maddox, and the Titan. The Titan's pretty decent as well. These are the guns that I normally try and pick up if I can. I wanted to try and rock the sniper because I, I've been actually practicing in the beginning of this and I was actually doing practice snipes and I was doing some pretty decent no scopes with it. And then I was just trying to scope in, scope so out, find out minutes. roughly where That's I would need to aim if I was going to no scope someone for those really close engagements. I was checking out all the stuff, just kept up pinging in as many nine bangs. Every time I saw a nine bang, I went to pick it up straight away. And you can see we've got a sensor dart as well, so we can locate where enemies are if they're near to us. Now the sensor dart did get a nerf, because they only last for so long now. They don't last for a long period of time. Before, I think it was just permanent, until they were destroyed, which was kind of OP. I used to use them, and it was kind of nuts. Now, I thought I was going the right way, but then I realized, eventually, that I was going towards the edge of the circle. I was like, no, 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 I don't want to go this way. But if you didn't know, you can use this tunnel. You can actually go through it and it will actually go out to the other end. Nice bit of cover there if you want to get from one area to the other. And then I eventually realized and thought, hang on, I'm going the wrong way here. So spin round and let's go back. I should really pay attention to the map <laughs> or at least expanded the map and go, oh yeah, no, don't go that way, go this way. So went back across. As you can see, the circle rapidly shrinking. It's really cool that they also updated and now we can play with 88 other players. So Vondi and the team are always stretching the limits to see what the game could actually do and the potential. But I found this game to be butter smooth, no problems with connections or anything, so I really do like the way they've done this. I've not, well, I've not experienced any issues that I'm aware of as of yet. The only experience I find is opening closing doors, picking up items, is a little bit slow. 
So they really need to bump that up. I really wish you would tap it to square. And also sometimes if you're near a door, even though you're not facing the door, it will open the door. So the direction of the way that you're looking needs to be changed a little bit when it comes to doors. Because sometimes I've opened random doors and not realized. So here comes someone coming towards me. I'm like, come on, let's just kill this guy instantly off his little vehicle here. But he did have level 3 armor on. So I thought, look at I'm going to chase this guy. I'm going to kill him. So I was hoping he was going to stop. Then I sniped him. Nice, easy snipe target. Now if I'll come by this tree. Oh, can I go a bit further? Now, the mistake here is I should have stayed here. I shouldn't have gone. <coughs> Excuse me. <laughs> Sorry about that, just coughing there. I shouldn't have gone past that tree, but I did have a barricade. So I, I kind of was thinking a, a bit forward of myself, I think. But then I uh, started hearing shots behind me. I'm like, what? Someone shooting me from behind? Like, trying to figure out where it was. So I thought I'd reload. And there you could see where it was coming from around that area. So I'll quickly drop down here. Try and find out where this guy is shooting me from. And then notice him there. Hold my breath. Take a shot. Hoping that it was going to peak. Now, as you can know, I'm not much of a sniper, so I'm trying to practice a little bit with sniping in this game to try and get the feel for it because I just felt, you know, a lot of people are killing me in this game because they're, they're pretty good at leading their shots and getting used to playing with snipers. I really need to try and practice to get better with it in this game because this game is really important that you have that ability to be able to snipe. So I thought maybe he's moved because obviously he was shooting me from another location. Or maybe it was just randomly firing to get my attention. I don't know. So I was trying to figure out where he'd gone. But I couldn't see him. And obviously I didn't want to stand around there too much. To get sniped by someone. Further collapse expected. Travel to indicated safe zone. So as you can see the circle's coming in. So if I move into this building here. And the Maddox was there. But like I said I was trying to. Try my best to sort of get into sniping a little bit. Picking up and anything and everything really. I need to start practicing what item, what ammo looks like for each weapon, so that I can familiar, uh, I can familiarize. I can't even say it. Familiarize myself with it. So as you can tell, someone's coming. So I'm getting some cluster grenades here, just making sure I've got everything I need. Took a few shots. Wanted him to turn around. See if we could draw his attention. Some more ammo for my sniper. And then I saw the sniper and I thought, oh yeah, I could put this on this one. So there we go, added the sniper zoom to it. I was kind of dubious at first when I picked up that because I thought to myself, a sniper is going to be pretty hard to shoot with up close if people... All right, distance. So far, I'll try and take a shot at this guy, see if I could actually hit him. Lead my shot a little bit, but unfortunately, just wasn't hitting the targets at all. Then I heard, obviously, in the vehicle here where the bridge was. So I was like, okay, there is a guy here. He's coming to the bridge. We're just trying to figure out where he was. Was he coming to the right side or the left side? Then I heard him. Sit rep. Circle collapse and, and here he is. Hello, run. So threw out a nine bang. As I said, they're OP. Now normally it will give you a detect a hit detector if it does hit. Unfortunately that guy just didn't quite get me. It was unlucky. Now one thing I noticed here, I can actually loot him from this window, so that's pretty cool. And as he's got the trauma kit. I don't know if that guy decided to use the trauma kit, but he really should have, because that would have really helped him out in that gun fight. I probably would have ended up dying, almost dying. Because uh, unlucky he didn't do that. So probably doing a bit of a noobish thing here, because I'm actually stood at the window. But I was hoping that obviously I would have enough cover 
that no one would see me quickly while I just quickly get a couple in. And obviously having a trauma kit, like I said, this you can basically just have it on for the entirety of the game. So I just stuck on the trauma kit. I don't know if it, it lasts so many seconds. I just noticed it said so many seconds there, but 200 seconds? I'm not sure. But I've never really had a point where it's ever disappeared or I've ever felt it's gone. It's normally when I've been shot, that's where when it's actually disappeared. So I'm just having to look through now for my sniper, get my sniper out. Right now I've already got a scope on, don't need another sniper scope. And there we go. So now it's just basically just figuring out what's happening next. Obviously the circle was coming in, so I'm like, maybe I can outrun the circle. And then this guy was there. I'm like, well, Jesus, they didn't even hear him. So I managed to headshot him, luckily. Used the trauma kit again, so I'm back to 200 health once again. And then the circle was right at my butt, so I was like, I can't lose now. Find out where the circle's going, try and run along. Luckily, the sl circle seems a little bit slower, so it was nice that it gave me the option to at least get into the circle. Further collapse expected. Travel to indicated safe zone. So I'm just running along now, hoping that no one's going to shoot me. Just trying to get as far into the circle as I can, because obviously the next circle is going to come much faster. I think I had pretty uh, a little bit of a way to go. Also, in future edits of this game, if I do play Blackout, I may actually put it down to editing like I normally do with H1Z1 and Fortnite. Now, I did see someone in the window. That's why I stopped. He saw me and I saw him. So I thought, I'll better get some cluster grenades here. And luckily, I threw my grenade when I did. Because the guy just literally jumped out the window. I shot at him with the sniper. But there we go. I think the cluster grenade kind of scared him off a little bit there. Because he, he was obviously trying to avoid the clusters. Not knowing obviously I threw it through the window. So we've got the grapple gun, grenades, barricades. All right, okay, let's take all this. Yeah, loads of stuff. Sit rep. Circle collapse imminent. Get to safety. So at this point I thought, well I'm going to have to use the vehicle. I want to be in the circle. I don't want to lose my 200 health. Otherwise the trauma kit would have been a bit uh, pointless. But like I always do, I just use vehicles just to get a bit closer. Just had a quick look around. I was trying to find body armor because I knew I'd not got any left. Again, I would like Von D. If you're watching Von D, Add a percentage to the body armor. I really want a percentage added so that we know how much the degrade is. Because looking at the image is very difficult to tell if you need to swap it or not. Rather than, you know, just endlessly looking instantly for body armor when you've been in a gunfight. Look for body armor. Get in a gunfight. Look for body armor. Just kind of is a bit silly. So if they give us a percentage, at least then we know if we're able to take more heads or not. Now I've noticed there is some differences in colour in body armour to find out. The level 1 body armour is kind of brownish. The silver body armour is level 2 and obviously level 3 you look like a, you're going to defuse a bomb. So <laughs> you literally can't mistake what people look like. And level 3 is the only one that gives you a helmet as well. So if you see someone with brownish body armor, they only have level 1. Level 2 is silver. And down. level 3, obviously you have a helmet included. So it's easy to be able to distinguish between. So I'm just continuously looting up here, just trying to find some supplies. Make sure I've got enough health, just in case I need it. any extra ammo. I, f I found a mesh mine here for Nomad. I was like, okay, what can we take? That would be useful. I was like, well, I could use the sensor dart if, if anything, because while I'm looting here, maybe someone will come here, because obviously I'm still in a circle at the moment. So I shot it over there, just to find out if there was anyone in the area. I didn't actually notice there was another mesh mine there as well. I could have probably picked that up as well. 
bit of a shame I didn't notice that. So obviously just trying to keep it in circle. I was going to go up top. I was like, now should I go up top? I'm like, nah, I don't think so. <laughs> it's not worth it. Let's go through the door. Get in there. Close the door. And then I accidentally threw a bomb. I don't know why. I, what I was trying to do was actually use the mesh mine. But I keep forgetting you've got to equip it first for it to be useful. And then I changed my mind and thought, maybe I'll put it in between the stalls. Because if someone runs around and I'm here. Now I tried to do it this way, but apparently it doesn't work like that. Now the thing about mesh mine is you can only put them in one location. Once you shoot one and another, they've got to all attach. Now I heard the window break, but this is because of the mesh mine. I was like, is this one here? It's like, who's, who's just broken a window? And I thought, maybe it was me, you know, because I blew up the bomb. I don't know why the grenade, you know, the grenade out through the door. How did that not break the windows? I don't know, but there you go. So I saw the door was open there. So I thought I'd scope out of the place. Now this is using sensitivity of 5 over 5. At this point I was thinking I might need to turn my sensitivity up. Especially if I'm going to use a sniper because that was pretty slow. Trying to scope that out. I would probably have a problem with that. If I had gone against an experienced sniper I would probably have been shot before I'd even had a chance to track on to him. So that's something I, I was obviously questioning at the call. time there. Supply drop incoming. So as you can see, I'm still in the circle. And I thought to myself, what I need to do then, because I don't know how far the circle is from me now, I'll grab the vehicle here, and let's take it with me. And then at least from this location, I knew I could grab it again, if I wanted it, and actually get to the circle, if the circle was going to be too far from me. So I'm just chilling, basically just waiting for the next circle at the moment. This is the reason why I'm just crouched here. Because there's not really much point to me moving if if I'm not really doing anything as such at the moment. So you can see, I turn my sensitivity up 5 over 5. I've been going through 3 over 3, 4 over 4, 5 over 5. The main reason I've been doing this is to try and do for the accuracy. Further collapse expected. Travel to indicated safe zone. Circle collapse imminent. Get to safety. Sorry about that. My partner was ringing me. Uh, so I've just come over here and obviously noticed some more stuff. So through the sensor dark because it's really good for using. Now the war, war machine was here. I was like, I don't really want to swap my sniper. I, I need to try and practice with snipers. So I took the, body free, uh, the level 3 body armor. I thought, I'm definitely taking that, because it still is a bit strong. So Vondi, come on. I thought there was going to be a nerf today for the, the body armor. I hope that they do a bit more nerfing to level 3. I still think it's a little bit too strong. You'll notice the reason why in a moment. It's not super strong, but I don't know. I, I feel that it should be reduced just a slightly a bit more. I don't think anyone should have too much of a huge advantage but I also demonstrate the power of the nine bang uh, in a moment. So it just goes to show you how powerful this is. So I'm just basically chilling. I'm like, well, where's the next circle going? And then the herd Echo. feet. Major instability detected. Safe zone evac orders are in effect. So as you can see, I'm charging up the nine bang, just trying to figure out where's this guy? I've just heard him. 
And there he is with his level 3 armor. So I blinded him. I was like, quick, rush him while he can't see. And he tried to throw the frames down. So he had level 3, but luckily I had level 3 as well. So I think that's the main reason why I did as well as what I did. If I'd had other, I don't know if I'd have done as good. So I just want to go and loot this guy. To make sure he's, if he's got any more trauma kits. That's what I was mainly looking for, as you can see. Just cycling quickly through. And then I thought, could we drop some that for dead silence? I'm like, not really. So, And then I took shots here. Now my level 3 armor's gone. But obviously I took the fight before. Another 9 bang look. 9 banged him. That indicated that it hit. I wasn't too sure where he was. So I ran in the building. I'm like, where? where is this guy? So I listened. And then I could hear him to my right. I was like, okay, he's over here. So threw another one, blinded him again, jumped through, bam, 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 he's dead. And that guy had no chance of beating me, absolutely no chance. He did a bit of damage, but being able to actually kill me there would have been really difficult. So at this point, I knew, obviously, there's only a couple of us left. So I came in here, thought I'd chill out inside, just find out, see if we can find more body ammo was the main thing, which I did. And at least now I know I'm ready for the final fight. Hopefully, hoping that the guy I'm taking on won't have level 3 armor. Detected. Evac to safe zone. So if I'll use the sensor dart, because I can ping. And then I notice this guy. I'm like, okay, where's he? So, basically, what was happening here is the guy is actually on the roof of this building. I'm like he's up there, so how do I get up there? Obviously I didn't know where to go or how to get up there. So I was like, he's up there, I know he's up there, but Sit how do I get up there? Get so I was looking around trying to think, well what do I do? How do I get up there? Now, the answer to it, which you'll hear me speaking to him in the end, is he actually used the grapple gun. Because I think that's the only way he can get up there. As you can see I'm searching now, just making sure I, if I can get up there. Obviously trying to be quiet. Finding out where he is. So I even used Paranoia just in case he was going to aim at me. Just had a quick look. See if we could find anything else. And I noticed the circle coming in. So I went to run upstairs. And then I thought, oh god, no, I can't come up here. Unfortunately, I do die to the circle here. Unfortunately. And there we go. I threw a flash at the end. Last Not much. Cartridge. But I came second. RTB I was so AI close. So I'm going to leave it here. You'll hear me speak to him in the end. Hopefully you enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to hit the like, subscribe if you're new. And you can be one of Kappa's convicts or convicts at, convict ads. And yes, it is I, the Kappa convict. I'm signing out. And as always, I salute you. And I will see you soon in another that gameplay. That is not fair. That is bullshit. Bye for now. I didn't know you could get up the top there. Oh, did, oh, I had the grapple hook, but I didn't know. I didn't know you. Could, so, so there's no actual way up there apart from grapple hook. Uh, I don't know actually, but yeah. I just used the grapple hook. Yeah, no, no problem. Fair, fair play, Steve. You did the right thing. I had the grapple hook as well, but I, I didn't, I didn't think of that. <laughs> so, good game anyway. GG, GG. Good game. Yeah, yeah. How many games have you won so far? Uh, oh, unfortunately, cut out there, and I didn't get chance. No. So, there we go. Hopefully you enjoyed. Bye, for now. You still there?